I'm not a big fa I'm a big fan of making excuses, but you know, I sat out a good portion of the year, and I'm the type of guy that with competition, I feed off that and I feel progress. You know, you can see out on the when you're out on the mat, your weaknesses show more so than in the practice room, because that's you, that's your competitive side wrestling out on the mat. Whereas in the room, you know, it's just kind of like your relaxed side. You're a different person when you're worked up, when the nerves are running through you. And I think getting lost in the question here a little bit, but more or less, I would just say, you know, repetition, getting competition, tough opponents, you know, facing some losses maybe even helped me out. Just little things like that keep me going. And when it comes to the end of the year, you really got to, those last two weeks before the season's over, you really got to figure out how you're going to peak and that's what I did and I think you may not, I may not peak to the Olympic champ that I want to be but I peak to the best I can be at this point in my life. Thank you. Uh, Corey, um... I actually I wind up in that position quite a bit and it's funny you say that because when I wrestled Michik it was the same thing he was in on that leg I wizard down real hard kind of make him take the backside route I straight my leg and I come to that you know, that hold that I wound up in. And I, it was back at the hotel and I was talking to Gilman and I, I told him, I said, isn't that crazy that I keep getting that takedown on guys? Cause like, it's kind of a cheap, like almost like a lazy way of getting a takedown, but as it looks, but it takes a lot of hard work and energy. You know, it's not easy to do, but it's kind of cheap how they're in so deep and you wound up scoring on them. You know, you gotta think what that does to a guy mentally. But I used to do that to Gilman all the time. So when I, not all the time, but I used to get like good guys in the room like that, Ramos, Gilman, get guys like that with that same move. So I brought it up to Gilman, I'm like, ain't it crazy that I keep hitting that on people? And he kind of like laughed at me because he knew I was pointing at him. But I don't know, it's just a move that I've got to in practice. And you know, you get on a big stage, you're having fun out there. And sometimes things, things show that you guys may not have ever seen out of me, but my coaches and teammates have seen me hit that stuff thousands of times. So much stuff I hit in the room that I haven't even showed out in a match yet. Corey, you mentioned okay. that arm. If you cannot, how much has it changed your style? Well, first of all, one of my main goals as a competitor is to show no pain, show no emotion. So that sucks that you notice that hurt. <laughs> but to be honest, we're, at, we're in the national finals. It doesn't matter if you cut my arm off. It doesn't matter what kind of pain I'm in. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at this point. Tomorrow's what matters. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, this hurts or this hurts tonight. And once the tournament's over, I'll be glad to sit down with you and tell you about what hurts. Not to be an ass, but it's just kind of how I feel. So, Corey, you've gotten yourself to this position. Uh, Corey, two years ago, uh, while you were wrestling for the first time, your opponent tomorrow night was on your team and in jail in Iowa. Yeah. Um, what, how, how crazy is it that you're gonna end your career against Seth Gross? And, and what do you think about that match? I mean, that's crazy to think about it the way you say it, but I think two years has gone by, and I think he's matured a lot, and I think he's, uh, you know, he's formed himself into what he wants to be. Back then, he was a, you know, he was a red shirt. He wasn't really wrestling for a purpose or whatever. So I'm not going to take him. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, he's a screw-off, or he's, he doesn't have the frame of mind I have because maybe he didn't two years ago. But I'm not going to take him lightly because of any of those reasons. I know he's a warrior. I know he wants to win this national championship, and I know he'd love to stick it up my you-know-what. So, I mean, that's my job, and no one else can control how that match goes other than me. My coaches have prepared me for it, but it's all in my hands from here out.